Hi, this is Jeff from BayesTheorem-QED.com. What I have here is an example of uh, a basic illustration of how Bayes' uh, theorem is used and then also how it is adapted to the Bayesian belief networks uh, in a software such as Netica. And I'll start with uh, the scenario, uh, just follow along with me. Uh, my mom goes to either a Walmart or Target and she buys bags of marbles and in these bags are a mix of uh, red and green marbles. She can't tell the proportions of the red and green marbles in each bag uh, but it's Christmas time and she equally visits Walmart and Target and each time she goes she buys a bag uh, of marbles. Well she does know that the total marbles uh, that she has bought uh, was a hundred. At the same time some marketers have uh, evaluated uh, this scenario and they did an experiment and the experiment uh, went like this. Uh, bag A and bag B, there are unknown quantities or proportions of marbles within each one of those bags, so basically they're invisible. So they bought 100 marbles and then they randomly selected 50 50 bag A or bag B. And as each bag was selected, say for example bag A was selected, they um, drew out a marble blindfolded and then they looked and saw what color, color the marble was and then they uh, numbered that marble either as red or green and they did this random experiment uh, with replacement in this scenario so because the marbles were, were uh, not very large and then they came up and computed their likelihood probabilities. So I've labeled these as uh, B sub I given A sub I. And so in total they selected from bag A, uh, 15 marbles were red and 25 marbles were green for a total of 40 marbles. And then from bag B, 40 were red and 20 were green. So continuing down this logic, we determine or I determine likelihood probabilities where the likelihood is nothing more than uh, this these values 15 divided by the totals 40 25 divided by 40 and then down here 40 divided by 60 and then 20 divided by 60 and then the the next step was uh, to compute uh, the joint probabilities well 15 divided by 40 is 0.375 and we multiply that times 0.5 to get the joint, which is equal to 0.188. We did the same, I did the same for uh, the green, probability of green uh, given the marble uh, bags was from uh, Walmart. And uh, 0.5 times 0.625 equals 0.313. Did it also for the probability of green given um, the bag came from Target and that was 0 0.5 times 0 0.667 is 0.334 and then the probability of green gain given the bag was from Target 0 0.5 times 0 0.333 equals 0 0.167 so the probabilities here would be like this. So this would be the probability of red given A it came from Walmart. Probability of green given Walmart. Probability of red given Target. And then probability of green given to it. All right. Then from our joints, we just simply add the 
probability of red given uh, it came from Walmart to the probability of red given it came from Target. So red to red and we get 0.522 and the same with the green we get 0.478. Now to compute our posterior probabilities A sub I given B sub J we take the likely we take the joint probabilities 0.188 divided by what we call the marginal. These are marginals. Marginals. These are marginal probabilities. Okay. And then we just compute these. So 0.188 divided by 0.522. So 0.188 comes from here. 0.522 is the marginal B and we get 0 0.360 and that is equal to probability of A given B. Likewise probability of A given not B 0.313 divided by 0.478 which is the marginal down here B B not or B hat and that is 0.655 probability of A hat given B is 0.334 from here divided by 0.522 this marginal is equal to 0 0.640 is probability A hat given B like I just said and then finally the probability A hat given B hat is 0.167 divided by 0.478 and is equal to 0.349 uh, so you probably have uh, or seen the logic here of how this is computed so Mom calls home to the daughter, and the daughter tells the mom, Hey, Mom, uh, Ralph, our dog, got into the uh, presence, and I found a green marble on the floor. And so Mom was glad that uh, the daughter could identify that it was a green marble because what she needed to do is, instead of trying to figure out whether to go back to Walmart or Target to buy the bag, a new bag of marbles, uh, she could use Bayes' theorem to determine which store that uh, it come from. And so if we just use our posterior probabilities, the probability of A given green, so or the probability of Walmart given it was a green marble is 0.655. So more than likely, this bag of marbles was bought from Walmart. So all she had to do was go to Walmart, pick up another bag of marbles, and to replace it under a tree. All right, sounds simple. Let's look at the uh, Bayesian belief uh, nets. This, these are set up uh, with uh, two nodes, node A and node B, which represent uh, Walmart and then represents red for B. And our marginal for probability A is equal to 0.5. And then for um, node B, we set it up with, uh, for event A, true or false, event B, true or false. So the, the uh, event B is true, event A is true, would mean Walmart is A, and then uh, B is red. And that, is, uh, that likelihood is 15 divided by 40, was equal to 0.375. And then here, 0.667 means probability of B being true given A is false. So B is true, A is false, is 0.667. All right. And then the probability of B being false given A is true, which is 1 minus 0.375 for the top is 0.625. And then the same logic below. 1 minus 0.667 equals 0.333, and these both equal to 1.0. All right, to illustrate it using VINs, I've just drawn up a, uh, a Venn, di Venn diagram, and uh, I uh, put these within a universe of events, and then I just use event A and event B, uh, which corresponds to Walmart, in, in red and I just drew it up so 
the yellow in the middle represents the joint probability, probability of AB, which is uh, this joint probability right here. And then probability B is equal uh, to the probability of AB, which is probability here, plus probability of uh, B uh, not A, which is the probability of this right here, this area right here. Probably a B, not A, so we're not including this portion of A here. So you take this portion, probably the AB plus probability of B A hat, or not A, uh, you get the probability of B. This is uh, the total law of probability, and I'll get to that in a minute. On the on the other side, uh, this is, would be just a mirror image, would be probably of A. probability be hat, the joint probability. All right, so we know from Bayes' uh, theorem that the probability of A given B equals the probability, the joint probability of uh, BA divided by the probability of B. Well, how do we know that? Well, we just do a very, very simple proof. We know the probability of AB equals probability of BA. So probability of AB here, this area is same as probably of BA, which is this, this area. All right, then using the chain rule, we can drill down this AB, so this would become probability of A given B times probability of B is equal to probability of B given A times probability of A. So we're setting up for probability of A given B. So we just, a simple, simple arithmetic and division, we just bring this uh, probability of B under, under this equation as the denominator and then we see that uh, we have set this up to where our next step here would be this would be equal to the probability of B A divided by the probability of B. All right. So now we'll, we'll take this formula pull it back down here and then we'll just do the math. So the probability of B A it's probability of B given A times the probability of A, as we've put right here, divided by the probability of B, which is the total law of probability that we've already computed the probability of B up here. So this is the probability of B. We'll take this and put it underneath here as the uh, denominator. And then we uh, just take our likelihood probabilities and plug it in the formula. So here, the probability of B given A is the 0.375 as illustrated here times the probability of A which is 0.5 which is illustrated up here and since this is equal to this this is going to be equal to this plus probability of B given not A which would be probability of B is true given not A 0.667 times probability of A uh, not A and that would be 1 minus 0.5 equals 0.5 do the math 0.375 times 0.5 equals 0.188. Again, 0.188 plus 0.667 times 0.5 equals 0.337. This is equal to 0.188 divided by 0.522. And this probability of BA divided by probability of B equals 0.360. And this is the same as we computed up here. 0.360 equals probability of, of A given B, which is here. That's all I have for this session. Thank you for your attention.